Hello, welcome back to the workshop. In this video, I'm going to be uh, restoring-ish this little axe. It's a uh, quite a nice little splitter. Um, the only problem is, is, is it's a bit wonky on the handle and the handle's a bit foxed. So what I'm going to do first is clean off all the rust off that uh, and take the handle off. Uh, and I'm going to do it in that order because that way I've got something to hold it on, have a handle on it, uh, while I'm um, doing it on the wire wheel. There we go, looks a bit better, still retain some battle scars, still got some little bit more to do on that. Let's go and remove the handle. Let's just stick that out a bit more. I will keep the uh, handle because Never know when it might come in handy. It is a very nice feeling handle. It's just at that end of it. It's gone. Right. So let's have a go at knocking that out. To tickle it with a small one.
Let me just find a slightly different tickling stick. Shouldn't really, restoring this will be in another video. There we have it. Right, the final clean. Right, go grab a candle. Just gonna do just take that label off. Okay.
see where it's... No, you can't. Right, let's see. Can you see that?
Right, almost ready for the wedge. What I now want to do is give that a rub down so I can put some linseed oil on it.
Right. Now that dry off, while I'm doing that, I'm just going to put some more leaving seed oil on the rest. Should really use a lint free cloth. I haven't got one to hand. Using kitchen towel, you don't need to dispose of this afterwards, otherwise, it will go on fire of its own accord. Just to stop the blade getting quickly rusty, let's get that wipe over as well. Right, let's cut that off and give that blade a nice little sharpen. For the moment, I shall let that dry out.
There we go. I think that's sharp enough. And I'll tell you what. It does feel nice in the hand with that handle. Thank you for watching. Please like, share and subscribe. Sharing is really useful and subscribing is free.